It's DC here and today I wanted to uh, explain to you how I got my first job coming straight out of college. So my story is um, sort of typical of the time, I guess. I was originally working uh, a couple of different jobs while studying and how I, how I got a job was actually through a newspaper because there wasn't really too much online job searching stuff way, way back in the, the good old days. Yeah, I, I got a job from a local newspaper for a high school not too far away from me uh, as a junior, uh, basically systems admin. And um, yeah, it was a it was an all right job. I was doing that part time from 6 a.m. until midday, five days a week. And then after that, I would do IT repairs for a computer shop, doing like on-site computer repairs. So driving around to different places and fixing old ladies' computers. And um, yeah, that was those were my first two IT jobs that I had while I was studying at university and before that TAFE. They were they were pretty good jobs. The school one was probably better than the others, and has sort of it's the only one that I actually keep in my resume because it was um, a government position. So it was it does look good on the resume, and it, it sort of helped out to get me out there into the world of IT um, and especially like government and enterprise markets. Uh, they looked really favorably on that I'd already worked for a government so I was already somewhere in their payroll system um, and it was easy for them to sort of transition me across into other jobs. The qualifications I had were a diploma in network engineering it was called at the time and also had a CCNA. Those were the only two uh, certifications or you know, any sort of qualifications that I had uh, to get a job and I, I had absolutely no experience. It was, yeah, it was, I was very lucky and today that sort of experience uh, or qualification set wouldn't get me anywhere. Even though these jobs were sort of like help desk level and the CCNA was probably the best certification I ever got. These days, it just doesn't cut the cake. It's not enough to get you into a, a job like that, at least. So I, I built up my experience by working, I worked for about two years or just under two years at that high school. And I worked for around about three years or two and a half, three years uh, doing those on-site computer repairs. And that slowly transitioned from computer repairs in the store to fixing old ladies' computers to then doing business support uh, because then I had enough experience that that boss was happy to put me out in, in front of his business customers, which um, definitely helped me to get further positions down the line. My next job after those two though was I, I quit both of them and I decided to go out on my own and start my own computer shop. Uh, where I was selling computer parts and doing computer repairs and then uh, also doing my own business support contracts on the side. I had that business for a few years and then sold it and that's, a, that's another story. I guess I want to sort of explain here as well, how did I get through working essentially full-time, so two part-time jobs as well as studying full-time? And the answer is it was very, very difficult. I I actually had three jobs at the time. So I worked in the morning, six till 12. Then I worked from one until five. Um, and then after that, I would have time to study and do my classes and, and stuff like that. And I was lucky enough to be able to um, have completed most of my prerequisites by doing TAFE earlier, doing that diploma in network engineering. So that cut out a whole bunch of coursework in my degree that I, I didn't have to do while I was at university. So that cut out a lot of that, but I still had to do a lot of work at nighttime uh, to complete the different tutorials and stuff. And then on weekends, I would work in a bar because uh, I, I was just addicted to working and I wanted to make as much money as possible. The consequence of that, my university results weren't great. I, I hardly passed, to be honest, uh, but I did have a lot of fun by working three jobs and doing university at the same time. For anyone asking if they should do that exact route, I would say definitely not. It was a terrible idea. 
and um, I didn't have much time to spend with friends or, or family or anything. I was either working or studying and I had nothing else to do. So if you do somehow have the resources to study and just study, that is ideal because you will absolutely excel and you will learn so much. You will absorb all of that information and it would be great. If you don't have that sort of luxury, then just get one part-time job if you can. And it doesn't really matter what it is. It doesn't have to be IT related, but if it is, that would be perfect. Schools do often uh, hire people part-time to work morning or afternoon shift, as well as um, service providers, which is why I always say get a job at an MSP because they, they will employ you after hours to sit on a help desk. You will learn so much from a help desk you have absolutely no idea. It's they're just a little hive of of knowledge, really. It's a it's a great place to pick up a whole bunch of skills and meet some people that you'll probably know for the rest of your professional life, because they're also being thrown into the deep end with these jobs, trying to get through the, the whole MSP and study path as well. So that's usually what most people in a help desk are doing. So I hope that sort of explains um, how to you know, tackle full-time work and study at the same time, as well as what my own uh, progression was through studying and then getting a job. Um, as always, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Catch you later.